Hey guys, Meet Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. It is a powder day, another powder day up here at Jackson Hole. They're reporting another 10 inches in the last 24 hours. So that is roughly two feet of snow in the last two days. It should be outstanding up there. And I have over another foot of snow coming between today and tomorrow. That's how good it's going to be up there. And when I said it was going to be a snow bulls, I wasn't kidding. Take a look at solitude. Now we're seeing some good snow hit the Wasatch. They're reporting at least a few, and we're adding to that very quickly. Um, it's going to snow pretty much all day today across the Wasatch. And I've got uh, snow accumulation in my forecast. So here are my latest bullet points as of this morning. Here's what I'm seeing. So the Wasatch gets six to eight inches today. Um, from big to little Cottonwood Canyon, uh, probably four to six up there at Park City, Deer Valley, and Snow Basin. Tetons have a foot to 14 inches coming between today and tomorrow. Colorado, four to eight inches between today and tomorrow. So we've got a powder day today and a powder day tomorrow, no question. With these snow bullseyes holding up pretty well, Tetons and um, the Sierra, you got new snow overnight. I think they're reporting about nine inches in the last 24 hours at Kirkwood. Um, the Wasatch is another snow bullseye, and so is Northwest Colorado. I'll show you all those numbers. Then we're into a quiet period coming up after 223, and this storm cycle will exit. We're in for a quiet period. In the Northeast, you've got light to moderate snow coming tonight into early 216. The storm on 223. It may not be a player now, may not be in the forecast. Let me take you back and I want to show you uh, water vapor satellite imagery this morning and mark what we're seeing here. So there's our area of low pressure sliding across the interior Rockies producing the snow in the Tetons, Wasatch, Idaho, and also Colorado. Now behind it, this is the trough of low pressure. This is really the thing everything's kind of spinning around. That's going to take its time. It will ride this jet streak in, but it's going to take its time and basically take the same track. Move into California, throw moisture. It'll probably throw a couple different areas of energy into the West Coast and then send those into the interior before the main trough moves in. But we're talking this is going to take days for this whole thing to cycle through. Here's the forecast jet stream today by the end of business. Um, so you can see the jet bringing everything in from west to east. Um, here we go, 216. Notice the big trough rotating in from the west, heading towards California, 218, 219. As it does, it's sending ripples of energy in through the interior Rockies. 220, here it comes, moves into the interior, 221, 222. And then by 223, we're into a much quieter pattern. There's an area of low pressure off the coast of California, but there's really nothing happening across the interior. Putting some moisture on all of this. So there's your snow by this afternoon, snow over all the major mountain ranges of uh, the central and northern mountains, even parts of the southern mountains of Colorado, the Wasatch, Tetons, Idaho, Montana. All right, into 216, everything's kind of focusing along, right along a, a frontal boundary there. Here we are, 216 in the afternoon. Everything's dropping down through Colorado. Late on Friday, you can see where that front is going, rolling right down the front range of Colorado, so we're going to see snow all the way down to 5280 in Denver. That'll be some good snow for the continental divide. All right, by 217, it's basically gone. Here comes the next storm system. Again, ripples of energy coming in. This is another shield of snow for uh, the Wasatch, the Tetons, Idaho, parts of Colorado into 219, it's gone. Here comes the next storm system, 219, 220. Again, throwing moisture into the interior. Here comes the main storm system, making its move, um, and then it just kind of fades after 222, and then we're into this quiet period for a lot of the Intermountain West. All right, let's talk latest snow numbers. So uh, today through tomorrow, next 48 hours, six to eight inches for the Wasatch. That's like I was saying, that probably falls today. Um, over a foot for the Tetons, that's between today and tomorrow. In Colorado, four to eight inches, central to northern mountains, less to the south. Potentially a foot up at Timberline and Bachelor, four to five up there, Sun Valley and Brundage. Period two. 217 through 219. An additional three or four across the Wasatch, another six to eight for the Tetons, and one to three in Colorado. Potentially a couple of feet around Mammoth and Shasta, less around Tahoe. Okay, in the final period, 220 to 224, maybe another six to 12 across the Sierra. So that big period is really after 217. 
and it runs all the way through 224. Um, potentially another 8 to 10 for the Wasatch, another 6 for the Tetons. Big stuff up there. This is a, this is a great snow bullseye. You really do need the snow up in the Tetons. Um, this is great to see. Um, potentially, uh, you can see the bullseye up around Steamboat. When I say there's a Northwest Colorado bullseye, I mean Steamboat, I mean Rabbit Ears, Flat Tops, Mount Zirkel, Cameron Pass, a lot of those areas with less snow as you were to drop to the south. And you can see that represented in all of the numbers. Okay, let's look at a grand total map. So rest of today through 224, you still have two to three feet of snow. Let's just say safely, you still have at least two feet of snow to go for the Tetons. Grand Targhee, Jackson Hole, Grand, Grand Teton. And again, over a foot of that falls in the next 48 hours. In Colorado, central to northern mountains, you can see what's favored. Um, northwest Colorado, Cameron Pass, Steamboat, Buffalo Pass, Rabbit Ears Pass. Um, Longs gets a foot, so does Winter Park, Loveland about 10. About a foot over Vail and Beaver Creek. And let's go to the Wasatch. So between today and 224, you've got roughly one to two feet of snow coming, and about six to eight of that comes today. Um, but you can see the differences between each canyon. Into the northeast, last stop. So you've got light to moderate snow accumulation coming uh, basically tonight into tomorrow morning. That'll take care of most of this. And there might be some additional on 217, some light additional snow accumulation. But that potential storm system with heavy snow on 223, just the storm track is completely off the, off the grid now. So that's really not a factor as far as this update goes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this, uh, this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.